<laughs> the power of smart folders and Mac OS, you're going to be shocked. Welcome back to the channel. So what do we have today? We have a tutorial on how to use smart folders on a Mac. Now before you kind of click off and say, I know I have a channel that does a ton of tech reviews and that's a little bit more exciting. You get the products, you get to see all the cool tech, but this is really important if you have a Mac. If you can learn smart folders, it'll change your whole world on how you organize Mac files. Trust me on this. Trust me, stay tuned for the whole video and at the end you comment if you like this or not. It's going to be something that I really recommend people doing. It's going to clean out your entire system for you and make things, you know, so you can find them so much easier. So sit back and relax and I'm going to kind of show you the power of smart folders. All right, so I'm gonna share my screen throughout this video so you guys can see what I'm doing, but just sit back for a second. We've all been in this scenario, and we still are, where we have a downloads folder on our Mac or some other folder where we have 10,000 files in there. We've never cleaned them out. We have no idea how to even start right now. It's just beyond, we can never find anything from 10 years ago. It's just beyond crazy right now. I actually have a Mac here I'm gonna show you. Now this isn't that bad because I kinda of cleaned it out before, but I have some Macs over there that are just crazy full of files, and that's the problem we're talking about. All right, so look at my screen over here. So inside of here, if I open up here Finder, I'm gonna open this up for you so you guys can see in here. I'm gonna click on the downloads, but this is kinda of what everyone has. They have all these files in here that are just sitting in here doing nothing. We don't know what they are, we just, we're kinda of sick of them, they're from ten, five years ago, but we wanna sort them so we can find them. Or even better yet, let's say every time we download a file, we could just download it into the downloads folder, leave it there, but then we create some smart folders that show all of our images, all of our PDFs, all of any file, the type that you want, it'll show you in a specific folder. That's really cool. So we're gonna kinda show you that and then show you kinda how to use this even beyond that. And there's some really cool things you can do with this. I'm just gonna touch the surface. So let's kinda get into it. All right, so for starters, you wanna open up the folder that you wanna kinda do this to. So for example, we're gonna deal with the downloads folder here. But you could create a junk file, you know, junk folder, and then you can throw all your files into the junk folder and then do the exact same thing with what I'm gonna show you, except, except we're doing it on the downloads folder. So here we are in the downloads folder. What you wanna do is you wanna be in the folder that you wanna do this to. You wanna go up to File and then New Smart Folder. See it right there, click on it. Now it's gonna bring up this window over, over the kind of the download, see that? Now up here at the top, it's gonna to say search, and then it's gonna say this Mac. Well, we don't wanna search this Mac, we wanna search downloads, which is the file, you know, what's behind here. So we wanna click on that first. That's the first key, click on downloads right there, or whatever folder that you wanna do this to. So over here, there's a plus symbol, see it here? Now, I'm just gonna show you some really quick things, but this is not the power of it, just stay tuned for a second here. So you click on this little plus symbol, and we can do things instantly. There's a little thing down here, and you can say name, you can say last, um, let's just say last open date, let's just say here, and then it says within, you know, we change it to last open date, is within, let's say the last five days. So it's gonna list all the files that have been opened in the last five days. You can make that 10 days, you can make that anything. You can do a lot of quick things in here like kind, and you can say, I want to show me any of my images in like that. And it's gonna put all the images in that folder in your downloads into this smart folder. So it automatically sorts it for you instantly. Now, the problem with this is, you know, you can, you know, you can use what's built in here, like, you know, image or let's just say PDFs in here. But Mac sometimes makes mistakes. Let's say you have like weird files that are image files, maybe for 3D projects that Mac won't even recognize. So you don't know if you're getting everything. So you can do like a, I'll show you in a second what you can do to kind of make this even better. So this is beyond what I'm, we're gonna see how this all works later. Just stay tuned, trust me. I know this is kind of, you know, you might've seen this before. So anyways, here, you know, we're, we'll, we'll get into this. Here's PDFs and, and, and images and stuff like that. But this isn't gonna work for us. But we could, you know, we could end up saving a file here like this, all right? And when we save it, we would actually create a smart folder. And then, then anytime we basically open up the smart folder, it's gonna show us all of the images or all of the PDFs that are actually in the downloads, if that makes any sense. But the key here is, and listen to this, is if you click on any of these files, here's a smart folder that we're in. It's actually not in the smart folder. It's actually still in downloads. Just keep that in mind. So these are just kind of not actually in a, fold, a smart folder. Smart folders really don't kind of exist really, but it's pointing to the file that's in the downloads. And that's important for later. So these are not actually in this folder. And the reason that's important, I'm gonna tell you now, is because if you delete this folder later, you won't delete all your files, but, but you can delete the files out of here, which we'll explain. Kind of complicated, but it's really easy at the end of it. So anyways, let's just say this doesn't really work for us. So one of the key kind of tricks here is look at my screen. You, you want to leave this alone, but go over here and then you hold down the option key. You want to make sure you have you know something here first. You wanted to start this at least, but then you hold down the option key. And if you see there's three dots that show up, if you hold down the option key, see it right there, three dots. Now you want to click on that. It's gonna open something up here, all right? 
What we want to do in here is, first of all, we want to get rid of this top line. See it up here? So we're going to remove that top line. Now what we have is it says, any of the following are true, all right? So now we can create multiple things that are true. We can say, in here, we can say, you know, obviously the, the, the date created, but there's a lot of things that are missing in here, the name of the file. So let's go click on other, first of all, right here. Now inside of here, this is where the magic happens. There's tons of things you can do in here, just tons of them, all right? You can see in here, there's like, I mean, there's you know, GIFs and you know, GPS files, file extensions, you know, family name, font, fonts that you wanna list in here. I mean, you can, I mean, it just goes on and on. I don't even wanna get into it. keywords and everything else. You can search for anything that's part of that file and then create these smart folders. But what we really wanna do in here is we wanna do file extension. Right, let me just see here. File, let me just see if you can find, uh, let's see if I can find it here. I can't find it. I'm looking for it. File extension right there. So see it right there. And I can check this box to make sure it always shows up so I don't have to go into this little area here. So I'm going to click that right there and click OK. All right. So now I have file extension up here and it's part of this list here because I added it. But again, if you go to other here and click on this, you can add all these other attributes that you want to have in there automatically or you can just do them one time. But I added it there. So file extension. So what you want to do here is you want to click is right there and then you want to click in JPG. Now no period, just JPG, right? So that's cool. Now it's got all my JPEGs. But now I want to click plus here and then I want to go again, file extension and then is, and this is JPEG, because sometimes they're, they're listed as JPEG and sometimes they're JPEG. But what you would do in here is you would go ahead and click plus again, and you would end up putting in, let's just say, we're gonna go to file extension. And if you had some really weird files in here, let's say that are kind of, you know, things that Mac OS didn't pick up, you would basically put them in here like TX you know, uh, X file or something. Obviously it's not finding them because there's no such thing as that file, but you can go ahead and set this up. All right, that's number one. So now you're gonna have all of these things in your smart folder like this, and they're all gonna be just exactly the files that you want pulled from the downloads folder. So as soon as we're done with this, we're gonna click save. Now this is the cool part, so click save. Now I can create save and I'm gonna put this somewhere out where I can you know, show you on my screen here, but you wanna make sure you save this to somewhere you're not gonna move it from. If you move it later, it'll break it. So you gotta make sure you put this in the right spot where you want it to be for, for good. I'm gonna go ahead and add it down here. I'm gonna add it, not to save searches, but I'm gonna add it to my, let me see, desktop. Now down here, add to sidebar. This is really cool. If you click on this, it's gonna add it over here to your sidebar. I'll show you in a second. But I'm gonna click, I'm gonna call this um, smart folder images, all right? I'm gonna call it that and I'm gonna click save. See that? Now I've saved it. Here's the folder over here, you can see it. I'm gonna go ahead and close this down, see this? I'm gonna close that down, but look over here. It actually created a smart folder, like I said, on, on the menu bar over here. So you can always just click on this. And as soon as I click on this, I know that these are just showing me all of the image files that are actually in my downloads, all right? It's a, it's a fake folder. I mean, they're, they're not actually there. If you click on them again, they're in the downloads. You can see it there. But if I click on downloads, they're still in here as well. But it just gives me a way to sort them really quickly. But now that I created a smart folder over here, they're all out here. So if you imagine what I could do is, let's just say I go back into downloads really quickly over here. And this time I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to, again, I'm in the folder I wanna be in. I'm gonna to go to file and then new smart folder. This time I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna go ahead and click. You first you have to click plus. I don't know why you have to do this. But then after you click this plus, then you hold down the option key and it creates these three dots, see it there? Click on that and now it creates this. So then you delete this. That's a weird process, but then you delete this top one. But now I have any and I'm gonna go down to file extension and I'm gonna say, PDF, just like that, all right? And then I'm gonna save this again, and I'm gonna say, let me just see here, smart folder dash PDFs, like that. I'm gonna click save, but before I do that, I'm gonna add this to the sidebar again over there, and I'm also gonna, you don't have to though, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the desktop as well. Let me just put that on the desktop, and I'm gonna save it. As you see, I have another folder over here. So basically, if you could imagine, now I have all these folders. They don't have to be here. They can be over here as well, or they can be anywhere. You can hide them somewhere. Um, but basically, you can open up these things, and it's gonna, so anything you basically add to your downloads in the future is gonna automatically show up in these smart folders. So anytime you just dump stuff into a folder, it, it doesn't have to be your documents folder. It can be a junk folder. You're gonna sort them over here. And then you never have to worry about what's in that folder because it'll always be there when you search for it this way. If I wanna find any PDFs in that folder, I just click on this. And any new ones that are added are gonna always be added in here. And it's always gonna keep things updated for you. And then you can have that junk drawer, that junk download thing, keep everything in there, but you can find it a lot easier. That's the key to this, all right? Now the thing that's really unusual here is if you click on a folder, just keep this in mind. I can delete a folder, I'm gonna show you here. So all these images are in here, right? 
I can delete a folder, and I'm gonna show you that in a second here. Right here, move the trash, right? I'm gonna go down to the trash, I'm gonna delete it. And uh, let me just go like this, I'm gonna empty the trash, empty, all right? Now if I go back to my downloads, and this is something you have to understand, it, it didn't delete those files, those are all still in here. It still has those files, it didn't delete them. The smart folder doesn't actually have them, it's basically tied to this downloads folder. Keep, just think about that for a second. We're gonna shut that down. But if I go into a smart folder and I actually click on a file, not delete the folder, but I click on a file and I delete the, move that to the trash, since that's actually pointing to the downloads folder, it will delete it from the downloads folder. So keep that in mind. So if you delete individual files from your smart folders, it will remove it from the, the, host, file, or the host folder. But if you just delete the whole, you know, the whole thing, you want to get rid of that smart folder, but just drag the folder into trash, it's not going to delete them all. That's a huge key thing you got to understand. All right, so at the end of the day, you got to start, I might make some other videos on this because you got to understand the power of this. I just showed you really quickly on how you can do a lot of things quickly and get individual files picked out and create these subfolders. But if you imagine, there's so many things you can do with this. So if we go back into downloads and we click on um, file and then new smart folder, and like I said, it's weird here, you got to click the plus first, all right, and then you hold down the option key, get these three dots, click that, all right, and then I always remove this thing. So, and then you can basically see you have more, you know, more uh, stuff you can do here. But I, I, I'm going to go into here and I'm going to go to other down here. And we always created file extension before, remember that. But this time I'm going to go down to other. But inside of here, this is, the, this is where the magic really happens in here. I mean, if you can imagine, all these different things in here, you can actually set up these kind of smart folders for. So let's just say, I mean, let's say you want a total bit rate of some kind of a file, and you wanted those to all show up in a smart folder, or a URL. Um, you know, I've, even where, you've, where you downloaded files from, like what URL, there's so many different things in here, you gotta just go through them. Um, number of pages in the document. So you can have a folder that just shows you all your files that have 20 pages or more in a document. You can, it just goes on and on and on. So you can create these little very specific things to pull out information from your folders and it's really, really cool. So at the end of the day, this is just a kind of a, a, an initial course on this. And, and the main thing to take away from it is you gotta be in the folder that you want to start with. You create the smart folder. Once you create the smart folder though, if I move this somewhere else to somewhere else from my desktop, it'll break it. So you gotta make sure it stays there. I can drag this into the trash. It will not remove all of those files from the downloads. But if I delete the individual files, just because if you look, they're down here, you basically will delete them. Those are the things you got to learn from today, and I hope this helps people out. Tell me if you guys like these videos. I just love to showcase this kind of stuff. But, you know, I learn them, and then I'm excited to show you know, people because it does. I, you know, when I have 10,000 files in my downloads, I just do this, and I have them all sorted instantly. It's pretty crazy to do. So I hope everybody understands why you would use this feature. Check it out. Try it out. Always back up your data first. I always tell people to do that just in case. And we'll talk to everybody in the near future here. Peace.